Okay guys, this is my last box from Japan and yeah man, there's some cool stuff in here guys, you need to check it out. Okay, uh, unfortunately I had to pay customs on this, I'm not going to complain guys, I've had so many things come through without paying, so I'll pay my dues, no problem. But yeah, this is from Saujin4338 and let's see what lot of beauties are in here. Alright, let's have a wee look. Okay, oh yeah, I've been hyping this one up for a while guys. You probably will see the money bear, but can you tell what that is? It's a beauty, whatever it is. So this is another one out of the Formula D collection. And as you can see this one there, which is the Mohan one. And this is the Rockstar version guys. And I, when this came up pre-owned, and I wasn't really a fan of getting it pre-owned, I thought, you know, it's you're gonna get these nice and new. Right, I'm gonna take this case cover off so you can see it properly, guys. So it shouldn't be much there right now. Let's put it out. Okay, get all that stuff off. And look at that. Well. <laughs> what do you think guys it is nice man black and yellow is that black and orange it just looks fantastic don't worry if there's glare you're gonna get it on the stand you're gonna see it properly 360 all the way i love them jacked up spoilers man that they do on these nice and then wheels seem to go with everything so I've got the Hankook, I've got the Mohan one over there, and the Rockstar, the one I didn't get, I wasn't really too fond of, fond of. it just looked really tacky, I don't know. It wasn't my cup of tea, but pretty happy about this, pretty happy about this one. That looks like a real drifting car. I can't get over that spoiler, man. <laughs> that spoiler just looks, and it is, it should look like that. Awesome, just totally awesome. So yeah, brand new and rare to get it in such good condition. Okay, I'll have to put it on the stand, guys. We're not, it's not doing it justice like this. Right, let's have a look. What we got in here, okay. So you guys can see that. This was kind of pre-owned. I think the front just had a little bit of not damage but markings to it and uh, the rest of it is all perfectly fine so this is the mortal pitwork gtr all right so the old ship gtr I don't really have very much of and let's take out the case it's not it's doing an injustice to this little guy come on and then wheels are going to use other things though. The wheels are nice. I don't know. I think it's quite nice. And it wasn't too expensive because it had some marks in the front. And the marks aren't really even that bad. But it had been used. I'm not really fussed. I would like to use that in one of the street racing vids or a drag racing vid. So yep, yeah, I am not too fussed about the little marks in the front because no way you're gonna notice them when you're zipping around on a race with. But nice, eh? Okay, right on to the next one, guys. And it's just getting better. It's getting better. There's gonna be some officially rare mini Z's coming up right now, guys. So be ready for them ones. Okay, watch out the display stand, guys. See it in its full glory and be ready for the next vid. Well, that is beautiful, guys. Beautiful from the factory, beautiful stock. And that was part of the trio of the Formula D Sylvia's that they released. Cool car. I didn't know much about the history of this car, but basically it's, it's based on... Um, Daijiro Yoshihara, who was basically a veteran in motorsports of drifting. So 
Um, I think that was the car that he drove. And uh, yeah, it's basically took off from there. And the really interesting thing is that the, the word Sylvia actually means a scientific genus for a type of a class of birds. Kind of interesting stuff. But yeah, I just like that rock star stuff, man. It looks all right. I like the black and the yellow color scheme. Totally looks amazing, guys. And that's one of the beautiful ones out of the factory. This and the Hankook one, the, the third one, I wasn't really a fan of. I didn't really go get it. Um, it just, I don't know, man. I don't like someone put the stickers on themselves. I don't know. Uh, didn't really do it for me. Could have completed the trio and got all three, but you know, I think these these two, they've got it fantastically right on these two. They just look so cool. Um, and the third one, I never really went my way to get out of that one. So, but yeah. And again, this is become, it's become very rare. Um, I've come across one before, which was pre-owned. Had a bit of damage, I think, so I didn't go for that one. But this one came up and it was brand new and it's it's a keeper. It's one that you're gonna put on display really guys. You know. I could use it in a race vid, it depends. If the race vids take off, all the cars are gonna end up in race vids. And if they don't really take off, then I'll probably just put the ones that aren't really rare, ones that I don't mind um getting scratched up. So but ones like this, they're little gold mines because they're getting, they're becoming more and more rare to get a hold of, guys. And you obviously you can see why. You know, that it, it is nice, man. It's nice. I mean, the silver shape, all right, I'm not, I wasn't a massive fan of that silver shape. I do like their spoiler, though. <laughs> that has got that. And it is, these cars were designed, the replicas of drift cars, so you can tell, you know, with the actual way it's all jacked up and I mean, I have got other Sylvias. I'll, I'll put money actually, guys. I've got other Sylvias, and basically they're, um, you know, yeah. Actually, I'll put them on as a bit of bonus footage. I'll put the other Sylvias that I've got on here, and you can get a bit of an idea. They're not the drift ones, so they've just got like normal um, spoilers on the back. They don't really have flared out, uh, flared out look to them. They're quite quite plain, so. But yeah, that's one of them that could sit on there all day, as as was the situation with the hand cooked version as well. Awesome, awesome. I was really happy to have that. Um, and that's probably my 10. I'm actually going to compile my top 10, guys, right? So look out for these. Now, normally I used to put the platform, the Mini Z platform, in with them. But I, I was talking to a friend and he said, you know what? He goes, when they're on that display case, without the platform, they look like real cars. And I thought, well, that's actually pretty cool then. I'll do it without the platform. And they'll look a bit more realistic. So that's why I'm not putting them on the platform. I mean, really, I would have taken them out of the cases, but I'm taking them out and screwing them off the case. So <laughs> it's all good in the hood, guys, as long as you guys are enjoying this. Right, okay, let's move on. Okay, guys, so here we've got the Xanav Skyline GTR R34 and this is the GJTC version. GJTC basically means Japan Grand Touring Championship. So yeah. I think what really kind of uh, makes you know you're looking at, you're looking at a Skyliner is the uh, uh, the the twin the double twin style Ferrari style lit, the lights that are in the back of the car, that's kind of like become a trademark look for them. So this uh, Skyline is definitely have. I mean, I think they're one of the most recognisable cars in the world. Fast and Furious definitely did help, but I think apart from that. This old, the old R34 shape, which was, a, in my opinion, the better shape than some of the other ones, um, definitely stood out. Definitely stood out. Wow, there are a lot of upgrades that took place in this car. They're always improving it. 
and they actually won quite a few championships as well. So they had success in a thousand kilometer race from Mount Panorama, which is a circuit in Bathurst, Australia, and it won in 1991-92. So, well, and it remained dominant for years in the Japanese GT series as well. So the GJTC series was later, ch later changed to Super GT series. That's what we obviously have come to know. But yeah, even though it looks a little bit dated and a bit long and squared out compared to the uh, newer GT Rs, it still has that presence about it. And that was a beast. I've seen guys getting this up to 1000 bhp. Santa Pod is a place in the UK where people bring their performance cars and race them. And one of these guys, he had so much power in that car, he couldn't go in, he, he couldn't launch the car properly. It would go sideways. I mean, it was a bit crazy, it was overpowered. But people have found these to be the, the cheapest cars to get up to 1000 bhp. Because up until recently, you could pick these up, even in the UK, for about 10 grand. And you could get imports as well from Japan. But now, wow, they've gone they've gone through the roof. I think they're about 20, 30 grand now. But before, people were getting them and people were just, well, they were just, you know, that the engine in these machines, man, you know, you could stretch it so much. And they were taking them to some next levels. And you'd see guys just smashing other cars um, in the quarter mile. Pretty cool. So I've got the Calsonic version of that as well, and I'll be putting that up as well. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> 